Hi guys, vlog number seven. Yesterday and the day before that, I was on bed rest and I felt like really, really bad. Um, today, so I called in sick for the library thinking I'll just do remote work just in case I needed my bathroom or whatever. And then I woke up this morning and whoa, that was pretty rough last night. Um, not much sleep, tossing and turning, lots of pain, lots of going to the bathroom. Um, but then it was about 9 30, 10 o'clock. I was able to get out of bed and be semi functional. And I drank some of my marshmallow root tea, which is supposed to help inflammation of the intestines. And um, my stomach didn't hurt too bad. I should say my abdomen didn't hurt too bad with the diverticulitis flare ups. So I thought, well, I'm going to try a little piece of toast. And I was able to do that. So here I am at the studio. It's just after, just a little bit after noon. And on the 28th, I kept wanting to say it's a little after the 28th, a little bit after noon. And I'll do about four hours remote today, so I'll have I'll have some stuff done. It won't be a complete skunk of a day. Um, yeah, big noisy truck going by. So this microphone is so amazing that sometimes it sounds like it is sitting in the middle of the street outside my shop. That and maybe my door is not the greatest, <laughs> but. Yeah, sometimes it sounds like it's right in the middle of the street. Anyway, day seven of my vlog. So I put on my big girl panties and I bit the bullet. And I ordered a laser printer for the shop here. Um, there are a lot of things that I want to print out. And I don't mind giving the money to the library because that always helps. The money goes back into their um, lease agreement payment. And so I don't mind paying them. However, on our COVID shift, I'm only there from 8 until noon. And I don't get a break to go and make the copies that I need, really. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. I either have to come in quite a bit early to get that done. And or you know, stay late, but I can't stay late because the next shift has to come in. <coughs> so I try to go in a little bit early, print off what I need, and then uh, pay for it. But now it's just a little, I think it's going to be, I know it's going to be a lot easier having my own laser printer. And I want to, um, I want to print my own class manuals. I I like the ones, of course, that are already made, and but there is so much more that I do in classes. I don't just do straight up Reiki. I also teach, you know, other other things: crystals, essential oils, chakras. Um, we talk about pendulums and sound healing and all kinds of stuff. And um, and then I also have a just a family oriented Reiki class where the people come in they get their Reiki symbols although they are not certified but they are attuned to them but then they can just use it for family friends if they want or um, if they have a family member member that's like end of life and maybe in hospice or something they can help their loved ones that way by giving them helping them calm down with Reiki so I thought it would just be best if I had my own printer. Just be a lot more convenient. <clears throat> Excuse me. Except now, I need to find a place for it. Not sure. I'll take you over here into this corner. That's the front window and then the door. So I could put it by that bookshelf if I had a table to put it on. Right now, I'm in the classroom, but it's my remote spot, and um, so this is the table I'm using for my library stuff as well. 
although this is my classroom area, you know, eventually COVID will get under control and I'll have my classroom back and we'll have classes again. And, um, but yeah, what to do with that printer? I have an office, which is really, really, really full. Hmm. First world problems, huh? Finding a spot for your laser printer. So that's, that's the big journey so far with a small business. I just ordered our first laser printer and I'm pretty happy with that. I was able, I was awarded a grant, a small grant, and um, so that's where this part of this money is coming from. The rest of it is going to pay wages for my employee. Um, and then whatever is left, rent utilities as we go. But we're doing pretty good though. I haven't had to dip too deep into my little rent savings account. So I'm glad. I'm glad for that grant and so happy to have a nice laser printer come in. Eventually toner Toner keeps, um, if you don't open the bag, toner can keep up to two years or more. And, and these toner cartridges get, oh gosh, I think it's either 18 or 28,000 pages. Some of the others were only like 3,000 or 4,000. Um, but I did a lot of research and it's a good printer. People were happy with it. Some people were like, oh, it's not good for pictures, but you know, I don't really have picture pictures to print. So I'm not worried about that. Um, and if you put it on like energy, or not energy saver, but toner saver mode, so you, you do the black and what is it, grayscale, um, you can make that extend even more. So it'll be a while. And since I had the money right there, it's a good investment for the business and for the future with classes. And then even to, you know, get that first hard copy, hard copy printed of my children's books that I want to write. So yeah. And I have little classes that I like to have little handouts for them and then those little information cards about the rocks and what they do. I can get those printed myself too. It'll just be nice, more convenient. So that's my big news. It should be arriving any day now. Some of the toner cartridges are already arriving. So yeah, I'm excited. We're all kind of excited. <laughs> Small business. Small business um, blessings, a printer. <laughs> so anyway, um, I hope you're all doing well. I feel so much better today than I did last night. Although it took a few hours to get this way, I kind of hope I'm, I'm over that healing crisis hump with the meds that I was on. And you know, I said to my husband today that some of the side effects to having limes is people, they lose gobs amount of weight. Really? <laughs> the one side effect I don't get that I would have been happy to deal with? Sure, don't give time for that one. <laughs> Whatever, right? <laughs> could be so much more awful, but it's not going to be. Kids will delete that. It could not be. This is, is, this is just how it is, and it's all going to go away, and... My Theta Healing side says, you know, I release myself from any debts, duties, obligations, uh, contracts, commitments, vows, and any other word that I forget from, I release myself from having poor health. I don't need to fulfill any of that. I don't need to learn from that. Whatever I thought I had to learn by having poor health, the Creator can, can teach me in a much less painful <laughs> much healthier way. I don't need to hang on to this weight to protect myself. I release myself from that. And the creator's just going to take it and go, going to go, gonna clear that out. Yeah, so that 
being said. I really should settle in and get some library work done so I don't have to use up all my sick leave. So I'll see you when I see you on the flip side. Bye guys.